So after looking at this dump truck and assessing the situation, the customer told us there was a two foot crack. That would have been about a half hour job. Now we decided that there is probably a total of 20 feet cracked material and uh, we decided to take the truck back to the shop, take the forklift, take the gate off, put the gate on the table and attack it that way. So we can actually get at what needs to be welded and do it upright and everybody here already knows that TIG welding stuff or really even MIG welding anything like this outside is never going to be fun. It's never going to be fun. You can try to block the air out and the wind will always win. So as you can see, this tailgate has some uh, fairly extensive damage it has been done to it. You know, there's several large cracks in its frame, plus unfortunately a variety of areas which we suspect will soon start to crack. But the good news here is that this is a completely manageable repair. And on a side note, something else I thought was really cool here is that the truck owner's 300 plus year old family crest is on the sides of the doors, which I really like. And uh, so now let's start getting this all taken apart and getting this tailgate ready for its new lease on life. Watch yourself. And once we had sandblasted away huge amounts of caked on aluminum oxide and various forms of foreign debris from where we'll be working, we set about getting this all welded up with the extremely versatile Pro Pulse 200 from our channel sponsor HTP. Today we're welding the stump truck tailgate, all aluminum with some 035 aluminum wire. We picked the 4043 wire. We're welding this in pulse. This machine here has um, a total of 19 synergic programs, some for steel, some with pulse, without pulse, for 53, 56 aluminum, 40, 43 aluminum, stainless steel, silicone bronze, gasless and gas shielded flux core. So we picked the 40, 43, 035 diameter with pulse. And um, this is the manual mode, by the way. This is all full manual for everybody who's old school or whose wire is not in that list. It's 19 synergic programs plus one manual program. Select it and our material thickness is just about um, an eighth of an inch. So we're at about 300 inches a minute on the wire feed. Well, we were at 314, right? So we're about at 314 inches a minute on the wire speed. And uh, this machine has a built-in hot start function and uh, function to fill the crater, which you see here. The T2 is your taper, you slope down. After you let the trigger go, it runs for another three and a half seconds, tapering down so it fills the crater. So it's a really nice setup for aluminum welding. It's a very, very smart machine. There's a lot of functionality built into this.
Oh yeah. What to do next? We're actually making some pretty good tracks on this. I'll do over here. So looking at these welds, we did some prep, we cleaned it up the best we could, and they look respectable. Some of the welds we did look even better than the production welds. Others look okay enough for a repair job. And um, the surprising thing is, although we had 18 feet of weld here, we did this all with one tip. And um, normally when you weld aluminum, as you all know, even welding with a spool gun, typically if you do like, two, two and a half hours worth of the welding, you have like 25 tips in your pocket and every few minutes you switch one. So here we ran about four pounds of wire through and didn't have to change tips once. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. This machine seems uh, very, very smooth, very controllable. And given that this is definitely not factory fresh aluminum. Oh, that's nasty. And uh, I, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. And once we've repaired all the insane amounts of damage to this tailgate, which honestly didn't take too long, that machine and Pete's expertise on this really made quick work of it, it was uh, pretty much just time to assemble this whole thing back together, then add on some finishing touches, which included a couple of uh, chain keepers where the owner of this dump truck can knock uh, and just droop essentially the chains which secure its tailgate in place through so they're not swinging all over the place and banging around on its truck body and for these we're uh, just cutting them out of some quarter inch thick uh, I'd say scrap but it's mint condition drop aluminum plate on Pete's uh, CNC plasma machine with the help of course of his PowerMax 85 plasma cutter built by Hypertherm so let's get these in place and there you have it YouTube, as soon as Pete finishes this final weld here, this dump truck project will be complete and out the door, owner came and picked it up while it was still there, he was really thrilled with the work we did on this. And uh, just like that, this truck is back on the road for many, many more miles. And I'd like to extend a big thank you to my buddy, Mr. Peter Zila, for letting me film on location here to shop. He actually has his own YouTube channel, I'll put a link to it in the description. And as always, thanks for watching, have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.